finally the engine that everyone has been waiting for has arrived. Christened as the iSmart engine, this will make Hero Motorcycles the most fuel efficient bikes in the market. Today the iSmart engine is going for a test run. Now we are standing at the traffic light. After a few seconds, what do you hear? You don't hear anything. Automatically, the engine switches off. By designing an engine that intelligently senses when the bike is at a traffic light, the engineers have managed to increase the fuel efficiency by 10%. 10% is a huge step. Usually you do incremental work. 1%, 1.5%, another 1%. But with this techno technology we did a really huge step. Well, we, we did not do this uh, a decade ago because then we as a company were not as confident about ourselves, about the possibility of us being able to develop our own technologies, about ourselves going out into the international market saying, here is my product, why don't you buy my product? But before the engine can make it to mass market production, it will have to go through one person who knows how to put a bike through its paces. Take it, just for look. So Satya, this is our new bike. How the engine is giving you the response, what is the throttle response, how it is accelerating, all those things we have to check. Okay. Satya is a stunt driver. He has the dream job of pushing the bike to its limits. And in his hands, a modest 100cc engine can perform some magical feats. Under the engineer's watchful eye, the stunt driver puts the engine and the bike to its maximum performance ability. The engineers will assess the engine on more than 20 different factors that will help them fine-tune the machine. What was your feeling for the engine? Uh, engine is smooth. Okay. And the starting easiness. Okay. And the idle stability is What good. about the power delivery? Is it power good? delivery is it? smoother. Yeah. And when we change the gear from second to third, the okay. power is good. After okay. three to four, it is okay. little down. From second to third gear it is good, but third to fourth gear third there is a little drop. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we'll see how we can modify this and if we can uh, do it better. The engine has passed its test and with a few final tweaks it will be ready for the production lines. Back at the assembly lines, the fuel tanks are getting a final coat of paint at the paint shop. Pre-programmed robots manage to paint up to 100 bikes in just 20 minutes. To make the motorcycle stand out in a crowd, Hero uses a special coat of paint that helps reflect more than 85% of light. Once the paint dries and the decals are pasted on, the fuel tanks are on their way to join the rest of the bike at the assembly lines.
the new iSmart engine is finally ready to be assembled into the motorcycles. As the engines are lined up, waiting to be incorporated into the frames of the bikes, there is no time to stop the production line to prep for the new models. You see, all the setup changes going on here. This is the last model of the previous one. Then we have three empty jigs. So after three empty jigs, a new model comes up. So the setup change is hardly 54 seconds. It is happening within one minute. So that's the kind of speed with which we are going change over from one model to another model. Like a symphony, the assembly line workers manage to incorporate the engine and all the little parts of the new bike model without any teething issues. You have a concept stage, then you convert it into design, and by the time you launch the product, you would have done two sequences of trial production. So it is our duty to identify based on the experience what happens in the trial and what are the problems you actually face on the line. We eliminate all these problems by the time you get into mass production. Even with the new engine, production lines are churning out a bike every 18 seconds, a true testament to the factory's efficiency. The bikes come fresh off the production lines and head straight into the hands of an army of 200 test drivers to check each bike. This is the first time these bikes will be started and the testers have a short window to decide if the bike has passed all the tests. We are having 138 checkpoints and we are doing it in 350 seconds. From that to that end, it's like 350 seconds for each bike we are having. In less than six minutes, the testers have to check more than 138 features of the bike. From the electrical connections to the acceleration and braking, these testers are so in tune with the bikes that they can do it with their eyes closed. Every time I touch a one bike, like my own bike. Feeling of the bike is very important. Each and every bike I can know by the shape. Like for the Splendor, it's a thinner one. If it's a HRP less weight, with a wider one. That this thing, headlight, there is a gap in this nuts and bolts. I know what bolt is looking around. How many threads are there? The engine is of correct model, or the things are correct or not. I am the person who is authorizing it that it is ready for the customer. I have so much of experience, I can feel the bike. I can feel it's like, like a child, it's like my brother. Like it is okay or not. Like I'm a doctor for him. Once the final tests are done and the bikes are given a seal of approval, they head to a holding area waiting to be sent to dealers all across the world. But the factory floor does not have enough space to store them for more than four hours. So the factory has come up with an ingenious way to deal with its precious inventory. This is a first of its kind system in two-wheeler industry. The factory is replacing its manual loading system with a fully automated robotic system. ASRS means Automated Storage and Retrieval System. Okay, we have a storage capacity of 4,872 vehicles in air. Automation saves a lot of manpower and time. If you store the vehicle on this floor, a single floor, and here we are storing the vehicle on seven floor, we have multiplied our capacity by seven. Working like a high-tech pigeonhole, each and every bike has a barcode that keeps track of where the bike is kept. Okay, suppose I want a black-colored particular Splendor Pro of cast type. I can place it in my system. The system will respond here. It will instruct this stacker. Okay, the stacker will go to the particular cell. It will drag out the vehicle from there and it will give the vehicle to me.
when the trucks pull into the storage area, the retrieval system is waiting there with the right color and model for each dealer without the need of human intervention. As these bikes head out of the factory to the 80 odd countries across the world, the workers can put down their tools, proud to have produced the largest number of fuel efficient motorcycles in the world. When a customer anywhere in North buys, he knows that it's a reliable product, it's backed by good quality, and he has the trust on the organization. We've done 15 million, it's a great thing. Congratulations to everyone. But now I'm looking at the 100 million mark. But it does not just stop there. Plans are already in place to open a $200 million research and development facility that will manufacture the motorcycles of the future. We would be starting to do research on alternate fuels, on electric vehicles, on hybrids. As we speak right now, we are building a brand new facility outside Jaipur, the Hero Innovation and uh, R&D Center, uh, which to my mind will be one of the best in the world, not just in the country.